sauce people, sauceonomics, sauce young whippersnappers, anything you want to call it, back at you with another one. A lot of people lately have been asking me, how do I punish neutral jumps with the DP from Balrog? Well, there's multiple options that you can choose from to help you with this input, and I'm going to try and cover all three of them, all right? So, I will go over a certain situation. I'm going to do that a little bit later, but first, I'm going to go over the three different situations and how you can actually go about using this to your advantage all right so i'm gonna go ahead and set a player recording to this jury just neutral jumping just straight up neutral jumping right all right so if y'all pay attention to my input that's on the left side of the screen there are two ways i like to do it now the first one is being from crouching and you're doing the actual full dragon motion which is forward and then down back right oops timed it wrong but that's the regular input right forward forward down back that's the first one now that is the regular input and quick explanation on it if you're able to input it fast enough upon re upon seeing the jump then you can make it happen me personally I find it to be challenging to be able to input that while holding down back. So it just depends on who you are and how fast you can react with DP. That's actually one reason why I don't play Shoto characters because I have a issue with um, DPing with the Dragon Motion input. It's something I'm getting better at, but as of right now, I'm still kind of struggling with it. So option number two, um, I'm, I'm going to refer this over to the Brian F uh, method, the Brian F term, is which is uh, called jigging. If you pay attention to my inputs, that's on the left side of the screen, you will see that I'm buffering the input while crouch blocking, right? So the moment I see the character jump, I could just input any version of the kick and it'll go through, right? Oops, I suck. Bam, right? So a couple tries, but I suck a little bit, but that's okay. Now, an explanation about this method. When it comes down to jigging, it's obvious you're not blocking. So if you commit to this, just know that your defense is down. But it's also a mind game to it because from what your opponent sees is that you're crouch blocking, but you know you're not blocking. So they may try and do something, they may not try and do something, but from what they know, all they can tell from what you're doing is that you're crouch blocking. So once again, it is good because you're buffering the input while standing still. And once you see them jump, all you have to do is just hit a kick, which in terms is either going to be the light kick or the medium kick. But if you ever stagger just a little bit, that's okay. But you know that you're doing it good when you're standing still and you're not moving at all. So by the time you see a jump, bam, let it go. Now, another input that I personally like to use, and I really enjoy using this one, is just holding down forward, and then the moment I see him jump, or him or her jump, I just do a regular fireball motion. That's my favorite one. This is actually the one that I use every time y'all see me DP with a uh, screw upper. I hold down forward, and then I just let it go with the fireball motion. Now. A uh, quick explanation about this is it's basically the same thing as the jigging method, but you don't have to sit there and constantly buffer it. You're already inputting the first input of it by holding down for it and then just doing a regular fireball motion. So me personally, this is my favorite one because I don't have to do all that extra movement, extra jigging, and just sitting there buffering because I feel like if I stagger, micro step a little bit, I might give away the um, identity that I'm buffering something. So the third option is definitely my favorite go-to option. In some cases, I use option one, which is the regular input, just regular dragon motion input. But it's one of those moments where I know he's going to jump. So option one and option three are definitely my favorites. Option two is there, but you can mess around with them to see which ones that you really prefer to use, y'all. So y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, three common ways to buffer inputs with the drag motion DP for neutral jump punishment. 
Um, if y'all have any other video ideas that y'all want me to do, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button and leave a like on the video, y'all. Y'all take care and stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.